नमस्ते सो लेट्स टॉक समथिंग अबाउट एवोल्यूशन एवोल्यूशन हैज बीन हैपनिंग राइट फ्रॉम क्रिएशन विच वी हैव बीन सीन ओके Uh, there have been various theories of evolution. Darwin's theory is there, the string theory is there, so many theories of evolution is there. Having said all that, evolution is inevitable. We need to evolve. Now, as they say, we have evolved from an ape to a human. Okay, that's how human evolution has happened. That's what they say. So, my point I'm driving is that at every stage in your life, you need to. Grow, evolve is to grow, and grow for the better. Evolve comes out from a thing of something which is happening, transforming inside, which makes you into a better person, a more maybe intelligent, a more wiser. Um, evolution is always for the best. It's a very positive thing that we need to evolve. So, my point when I'm telling you this is, I'm trying to tell you is. you also have to think from that point of view that how will i evolve every situation in life that you are see the friends that you keep see the books that you read see places that you go to see what is your thought process now every time you have to see is this particular situation or these people or this book is bringing your energy down it's making you regress or it's making you progress so now every time this may not be possible but most of the time at least when it comes to keeping the, your best friends reading good books this is in your hands don't do things which are going to be regressive which are not going to be progressive which are not going to contribute to you in some way or the other life has to contribute to you your friends your social circle uh, the way you dress up anything your personality the way you carry yourself everything has to make you and people around you help evolve help rise help you change for the better okay so evolution is a part of our nature uh technology also we have seen how it has evolved like earlier on they used to use flint stones to write like fire right today we have electronic gas and stoves we don't need a lighter also or a matchbox to light correct right? it's an electronic thing with the fire fire starts for example also a mobile phone back in the days i'm talking of the stone age days where pigeons used to carry letters from one place to the other which is what we have heard today we have a small little device in our hands which connects us to the entire world in a jiffy there are no letters written to make emails they go from here to there in one second so that is evolution that is technological evolution that is technology how technology has evolved i'm talking of our human behavior which has to evolve also we cannot be thinking of those old things and old patterns all the time we have to change we have to transform for example i'll tell you in my days when we got married it was a trend that the mother in law has to be very mean to the daughter in law that was the trend that was the movies were shown in that fashion the television serials were shown in that fashion whether how wicked the mother in law is or sometimes the daughter in law is wicked i mean it to some cat and mouse kind of a play all the time today it is not like that today mothers in law and daughters in law are like friends so they have evolved the relationship has evolved and that's what i like there may be a few exceptions i mean that's a different question that people don't want to change and evolve but the whole world has evolved um, even if you take children of today small children of today like a 5 year old child she will know more about technology how to use the iphones and all these android phones and the laptops they just know it and we have been struggling i'm talking of my my age group uh, people we have been struggling when i had to literally learn from scratch okay if i do this this happen and that too oh my god it was like a big deal for me to learn to use a laptop and to use a, a telephone but i evolved i wanted to grow with the world i wanted to grow with times i wanted to change with times had i not 
had i not i would have been stuck there still struggling with the whole world is only functioning on uh, emails and technology and whatsapps and instagrams and facebooks they have gone far beyond i would be lagging there still stuck Ki, oh god i just don't know what the hell is happening everybody is talking of all these kind of things and i don't know nothing about it so what has happened to me i'm stuck i have not evolved so i'm not going with the world the world has gone far 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 beyond my imagination and i am still stuck at the back there feeling completely helpless and lost because i can't cope up with the world because i have not decided to evolve i have not decided to learn new things i have not decided to transform so who's the loser you are the loser so in every situation don't get stuck learn transform have that thing no i can do it no teach me how to do it no let me understand what you do you may not be experts with it but at least you are somewhere with the crowd you're not lagging behind so people who do not want to change who don't want to evolve with time they are just stuck in one place and they feel stuck they do, cannot move from there and they are there in those rigid ideas so i am like this i'm sorry i can't change no change is inevitable everything changes except change so change will happen that is the law of the nature that is the law of the universe everything changes every little time every minute every second even your body is changing every minute the cells in your body are dying the new cells are being generated all that is constantly happening don't fight this change don't fight the evolution if you fight you will be the loser you will be stuck in that one place so always be open to evolution the more you evolve the more you will flower the more you are accepted the more you are in sync with the energies of the universe with the energies of the earth otherwise you feel stuck somewhere the whole planet is going on another level our earth is evolving every minute the earth is undergoing such a huge evolution now at this point in time <clears throat> the planet is going towards the fifth dimension and if we still think from the third dimension point of view you will remain there eventually you'll have to exit remaining in that situation that lot of humanity has already reached the fifth dimension there are people who are going towards the fifth dimension because they want evolution they want change they want transformation there are a lot yet who think very small and they're not evolving there are lots of people who are stuck in the past they remember things that happened 20 years ago and 30 years ago oh she did this to me 30 years ago my sister in law was so wicked to me 25 years ago please get out of that mindset get out of that mindset it was long time back whatever happened let go forget you change shift let that shift happen you will feel so much lighter when you are along walking along the path with everyone else there's so much of growth inner growth which you require which will happen your soul will start flowering it has to flower it has to evolve it has to make you feel nice otherwise it pulls you down you don't feel nice inside you may pretend to be nice on the outside but you don't feel nice inside inside you are still tight and stuck so evolution is a part of the planet it is the reality of this planet those who have not been able to evolve you look at nature like dinosaurs dinosaurs and all they could not evolve they could not change their size they could not change the whole jungle was out they have become extinct those who could not evolve they become extinct so i hope you are understanding what i'm talking about so if you if you evolve you transform you look at the world differently the earth planet is transforming you have to walk with the planet if you don't you become extinct the choice is yours with evolution you will learn you will grow you will enjoy the journey 
you enjoy the process but if you don't you become extinct okay so think about it and growth and the growth that i am talking about is the inner growth internal growth external growth is inevitable it happens you are externally going to grow old your body is going to grow old you will get glasses when you touch 40 your hair will go gray after a certain age all these things are external growth that's going to happen that is not going to stop even if you don't want it to stop i'm talking of inner growth you we usually stop our inner growth the growth of the self we put such a lock on the self that the self just doesn't know how to evolve and grow so the internal growth is what is very important for you to be in sync with the mother earth now if you ask me what is inner growth i cannot explain to you just now on this planet but if you understand it is the inner growth if you want my help i'm always there to help you you can get in touch with me anytime i will be there uh, you can get in touch with my on my website any other more any modality that you want i can i can offer you whatever you're looking for and we can um, make a special one for you also which will suit you okay so help is there always provided you tell yourself yes i want to evolve you have to tell yourself first yes i want to change i want to transform i want to evolve i want to see a different life i want to see different me i don't want to be sitting like this crying and breaking my head that things are not happening things are not working remember say yes to the evolution from within and you will see the difference what can happen to you in your life thank you very much